What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to the February's edition of the server update tour. So as most of you know we changed worlds at the end of January so we've got loads to show you. Absolutely tons because everyone's been working so hard and that is not a lie but there is so much to show you. So again I've split these videos up into two parts and I think that's how we're going to carry on going forward for this series because gives you guys a better chance of seeing what's going on. So in true server update style, we got our new builder to show you first. So let's jump on over into his town and I'll show you what he started with. This is the town of Kingsworthy built by Lanwan. So he is our newest guy and he has made quite an impression already on the server. As you can see, there is an entire cathedral standing in front of me. This is Winchester Cathedral and it's a very good job at recreating it indeed. So it's an 11th century cathedral. It doesn't have a spire. So the real story about that is the ground isn't great. And originally the, the cathedral was actually sinking in the early 20th century and a diver had to go down and sort that all out. But um, when it was actually built, they had plans to build a spire on it, but they just couldn't get the footings in here. So it has this really cool looking sort of cut off tower. And I love these on English cathedrals. But what's really great about what's going on with this one is the flag of Whiteberg's flying nice and high there. So that's a great improvement on not having a spire, but still, so Lanwan, your town is already coming together really nicely. This little square around here, the cathedral close, is looking great. Now, I have been here in real life. I have been to Winchester Cathedral many times, and I've got to say, you have really pulled this off. Like, if we come around to this little quad section at the back, uh, once upon a time, there was trees here. I mean, there is trees here in real life. Once upon a time, I was tasked to go around here and measure the girth and the height of all these trees to work out the canopy size. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a little nice little tidbit for you guys to uh, have a go with there. But you can see this view. This is one of my favorite views of the cathedral. And I don't know why, but I think it's just the way the tower sort of protrudes up through this corner here. Uh, and the other day on my phone, it popped up as like a memory to say, oh, you took this picture so many years ago. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. And I gotta say, you've captured this view very, very well. So what else is going on in your town? Well, I know you're gonna be mixing in some buildings from Salisbury as well, which I believe are these ones over here currently. Let's take a little look with some shaders around the other way, perfect. But you've got the Georgian style down great, and I love what you've done with the texturing in the roofs here with some spruce and jungle. That looks really, really nice. So I can't wait to see where you take this town. But again, welcome to the team. I know me and you have some shared interests in places. We have been sort of fighting over what towns to be using as inspiration. We'll get onto that later on, but we have come to a conclusion that we should probably work together on some things. So yeah, let's do that. So in other news, we have lots and lots and lots of stately homes and country parks to show you as promised in the January update. So I thought we might as well start off with MS Build. He has actually built two of them for this this month. So why not start with his first one, which is a Summer Leighton Hall? I think that's how you call it. Never really known how to pronounce that name, but let's go take a look at this lovely Victorian Italianate country house. Oh, oh, don't mind me. I've just uh, found some berry bushes I wanted to have a little snack on. Welcome to MS Build's first stately home on the server. This is a Summer Leighton Hall. I think, again, I think that's how you say it. It's a really mouthful, like looking at it written down. But this place is absolutely incredible. It is a Victorian Italianate building. And I've got to say, Italianate, one of my favorite styles indeed. And the color palette you've used here is, again, my actual favorite. I love how sandstone and brick go really, really well together. So around here at one of the gardens on the side, and I think this may be the back of the house it is. So what we can see over here is the Italianate Belvedere Tower. You've got this lovely triple window at the top there. And not just that, the landscape around here. I know how hard you've been working on this place. I know how much time you've sunk into it. And it is really, really great. You've pulled it off so well. And do I spy a little copula over there? Yeah, let's go take a look at that as well. But I also spy some greenhouses. So there is actual country house mania running through the server at the moment. I don't know if you guys have seen my recent time lapse video on the Wilverley Park. We'll get around to Wilverley Park in a bit, but everyone's doing it at the moment. Everyone is and everyone's loving it. So that is absolutely incredible. Let's take a look at this in a bit more of a sunshine. No, oh, no, that's the wrong way around. Let's turn it back that way. Look at this place. So I wouldn't mind living here. I would love it. So I like what you've done here with the gates around here. You've got that nice little molding around them, which looks really good. It's a bit more of like a Brock style that, but that's great. What is this? A cattle grid? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That is really, really outdone it. Like I was going to show you guys hundreds of stately homes today, 
But I think this category has definitely taken my attention away from that. No, still, let's go take a look around the rest of this park. There is just so much to see. So this is the stable block through here. I like the blue clock. You do see those a lot on these stately homes in England, so that's a great little addition. Let's come on through into the stable block, and yes. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh. I do like this. This is right up my alley. And you've got a little trough here as well for me to dip my feet in and just sort of sit here for a little bit. And, ooh, I can hear it running underneath my feet. But still, let's um, take a look around this side. So over here, we've got some large greenhouses that run around the side of the building like so. And can we get inside them? No, I think they're just for display purposes. Uh, he says as he thinks he can go through there. No. But I like this little arcade. Um, again, you've really nailed this place. I've never seen it in real life. I don't know what it looks like, but I can imagine it is very, very grand. So MS Builds, thank you so much for building this beautiful, beautiful structure. I'm guessing I'm missing something over here. I think there may be a walled garden somewhere. There is, this place is vast. It is absolutely massive. There it is. So walled gardens are now my favorite thing to build. Greenhouses and just little areas of green and growing stuff. And oh my God, is that a vine walkway? Okay, this place, we're going to spend a little while here, guys, because it is utterly, utterly, utterly beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm actually gobsmacked by all of this. Oh, MS Builds, you really, really have outdone yourself this time. I've, we've got another part to show off again in a minute, but this little area with the vines growing around it, walking down here makes you feel like you're just in paradise, does it not? Oh, guys, so I hope this sort of this server update tool will really inspire you all to start having to go at building your own stately homes because they are so much fun to do. This is a little lodge at the back of the house here, which is built in a bit of a mock Tudor style. I like that. That's your first one of those. I think that looks really, really good. So MS Builds, lovely stuff here at this park. We've got another one to show off in a bit of yours. Uh, let's actually go look at something. And I cannot wait to show the guys the rest of that. So staying on the theme of country houses, let's go take a look at Goblin's House of Chatsworth. Yes, that Chatsworth. So staying on today's theme with vast properties, we have Chatsworth House behind me here. This is a beautiful 18th century country house, and it's been built by Goblin, one of our newest builders on the server. I think he joined us back in January before we reset the world. But incredible stuff. Again, the landscape you've built around here as well. We'll go have a look at that in a minute. I think there's a forest over there called Ensor Forest. That's another one of your builds. We'll take a look at that in a bit. But let's start off here with the main house. This is the garden facade. And I've got to love Georgian houses that look like this. They are just perfect, aren't they? They really, really do sit well in the landscape. But there is absolutely so much going on here. So in real life, Chatsworth has this lovely sort of landscape where it sits within a hill. And you can see here we've got like a little river that runs up through there. I want to go take a look at that quickly. That looks really, really cool. So at the top of this tower here, we have like a little garden temple thing. And wow, if I had the money and the landscaping capabilities, I would have one of these installed in my house. But that would involve removing several roads and people's houses. And maybe that maybe that won't work. But still, you've built this up here, which is really, really nice. And you've got like little water pumps as well. That's cool. That's a nice little detail. Right, stop sidetracking yourself up on here in the mountains. Let's go take a look at the rest of the house in a second. I have found my new muse. Some more greenhouses. Oh, I'm at home in a greenhouse and I don't know why. I mean, the way you look through the windows at things, I think it just works so well. Let's run on through this greenhouse quickly and get out the other side. I think this is the stable block this way. Um, I know this is all over the place because I'm just so excited to get around and see so much of this place. But yep, so this is the stables. I like what you've done here. Nice little tower again up there. You find, like I said, this is a common feature across like 18th century and 19th century stately homes. They always have these stable blocks that have this tower in the middle with a coppola on top. And I think it just works so very, very well. But you've got this extensive landscape through here. Oh, that goes on for miles. Nice job with that. Lovely gardens at the back there again. There is just, again so much going on if i say again one more time then please tell me in the comments below maybe even start a drinking game about it nice little car driving up the driveway here and we come to the other side of the house which is incredible there is so much going on here it's massive isn't it just look at it but it does sit really well in the landscape oh i see you've also got some little statues going on like we saw over in kingsworthy what's this oh like a garden pavilion oh well, this is even better than sitting around in the greenhouse. I like this. Lovely, lovely view from here. Right, so that's Chatsworth done. 
I think it's time to go off and have a look at MS Build's second stately home before we get on to Wilverley Park. So I'm going to show you guys Orwell Park, which used to be a school over in Norfolk, but now it's a stately home here on the server. So let's go take a look at that. My obsession with gardens continues. Here we are in the uh, lovely walled garden of Orwell Park. I could just leave it in a garden. I think I may have to do that one day. Just go live in a garden. No, let's not, let's not do that. But still, Orwell Park is this beautiful, beautiful house. I can't remember what date it was built in, but it's again a probably another 18th century or even 19th century building. It's a similar style to what MS Builds built earlier on that I showed you, but it has a lovely tower over here. Can you guess what this tower might be? <laughs> that is correct. It is an observatory, the first observatory on the server. Now, whenever you guys sort of see these, you see them as a steampunk type of affair, especially when people say they're Victorian. They're really not. Steampunk, not one of my favorite things. But anyway, this place looks absolutely incredible with this much detail on the walls. I like what you've done with the windows. They are absolutely gigantic, but that's how this building feels. I've looked at it on Google Maps and I think it looks like a perfect recreation that you've done here. This bay section is my probably favorite here, along with these actual bay windows along the side. And I just think, yeah, I, I would happily, happily live here. What's this? Oh, this is like a little ha-ha or a ha. I can never pronounce it properly. But it's a way of like trapping out animals without sort of ruining the landscape. So usually you would build these like probably in one or two blocks lower and you get a better view so you can still see across the landscape without actually affecting your view. But let's go take a look around the rest of this place. So these buildings on the side, I think one of them is a water tower and the other one may also be a water tower or just like an observation tower because Suffolk or Norfolk where it's from is very flat so it's good to build towers around so you can get a better view. I do not know what I'm rambling on about there but still this lovely little garden pavilion around the side here looks really really great. I love the way the windows work in our texture pack as well. It just really helps bring about this style a bit more. So we've got a few more things to see around the side here including this very very large orangery. Oh, that is incredible. Let's change the shaders around again so we can get a better look at that. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, I'm actually in awe of all of this. MS Builds, you know you've inspired me to build a stately home. And you can see how, can't you guys? This is incredible stuff again. So over here we have the lodge house, which is built in a bit more of an Elizabethan style and may have been the original house on the site. Although, again, it could actually just be a mock Elizabethan house built during the Victorian period. But what I like going on here is you've detailed everything as you do in that sort of realistic way. We're flying down the street here to try and get a better look at the house through the trees. And there we go. So, guys, that was Orwell Park. It is one of these incredible stately homes and a great addition to the server. So MS Builds, thank you for gracing us with these two lovely stately homes. Now, speaking of stately homes, because yes, that's all we're doing today, I'm gonna to show you guys Wilverley Park, and I cannot wait to show you the walled gardens around there. So you find me standing outside here of Wilverley Park with the beautiful Palladian styled gatehouse that I think you guys have seen quite a lot of over on Instagram. I share this as my sort of teaser for this whole park. Now, Wilverley Park was, as I said in my video, meant to be my 10k special build, but that never happened and it never got built on the old server, even though I spent all that time doing the landscaping for it and doing all of the railways around it. But still, it finally came to fruition over here on the server last weekend. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm enamored with it. There is nothing that would tear me away from this place until I build another stately home that is, and then I'll just dump this one in the bin somewhere and never think about it again. No, we can't say that. So you guys noticed this, some of you said it was quite nice in the comments, that was built by Duncan. He came over and had a little go at that while we were doing the building session. But yes, so the rest of it through here, the walled garden is one of my favorite walled gardens that I've ever built. It is actually only the second walled garden that I've ever built, the other two are over there. Wait, that makes three. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But still, greenhouses just work. They make something feel so much more Victorian. They make it feel so nice and they give it a bit of flavor. So as I mentioned in that video, if you guys want a tutorial on how to build wall gardens, let me know in the comments below. I believe you said yes. So I probably will end up doing it at some point. But here we are, Wilverley Park, Wilverley House, the absolutely lovely building that sits up here in this strange and unusual shape. So what drew me to this house originally was this view. I had never really seen the other garden view before. I just loved the pictures from real life where it was showing me like this 
and you had the little uh, porch there as well and I was like oh that looks really good and as I said in the video I told the story of how I discovered it in a book about all sorts of architectural drawings before I'd even seen it online so I kind of went wow that's that's really really cool but guys this is probably my favorite ever build and I still come over here every day and just pay homage to it so I spoke about doing the interior for it and yeah no there isn't anything yet but I have built some of it but we won't look down there just yet I have got plans to do the whole thing so we will get them back at some point in the future have a little tour around it I might drag Jamie around here with me so let's take a little look at the back as well now this is nice I liked this this is my first formal garden and I think it turned out all right I was trying to mix in spruce and birch leaves but it didn't really work too well but still the garden face is what you guys love the most and I gotta say it's really really nice isn't it oh just look at it so let's take one last look over here at the another walled garden because that is what I'm obsessed with today guys and yeah it's really nice and what is my favorite view of the house this one for some reason I just love the way it sort of peaks over the top when you're sort of walking around the wall garden here if, if you can walk through berry bushes or you're standing on the manure pile and just going oh I wish I lived in that house well ladies and gentlemen I do live in this house not in real life in here in, in my in my head yeah that's not great is it and we've got one last little thing to look at on the estate and that is the chapel that has over a thousand years of dead bodies in the basement uh, which again I need to build at some point because I didn't build it in the video but I probably should have done still it's a really nice little chapel and I like what I've done with the walls the texturing on here and the roof as well just give it that sort of nice worn look in real life it's actually abandoned it's just left there it is the actual building from the Standlich Park which is the original park for Trafalgar and it's still not really been in use it was a Catholic church I believe for a bit as well when that was all kicking off in some centuries at some point so we've got a few more things to go look at on the server before we call it a day today uh, I got Rafen's built a actual another stately home so let's go take a look at that so guys welcome to Delmain Park this is Rafen's latest build and I've got to say it's probably the most interesting stately home I've seen today it's all at a 45 degree angle that's a very very odd choice for a stately home I would love to pick your brains on why why you chose to build it at this angle but still it's an interesting one as you can see there is a lot of planning going on do I spy a walled garden? I spy something over here. Ooh, yes, we do have a little walled garden. Another one for me to look at. And now that's an interesting choice. I forgot to put any wheelbarrows in. Ugh, silly me, I should probably do that next time. But yeah, that was a little horse track as well. That's a cool idea. But what you can see over here, guys, is the Black Mountains of Doom. So he's building himself a area of outstanding natural beauty over here. Again, that is something we really probably shouldn't be showing off yet. But I thought it was worth a quick little mention. But still, we'll come back here later on, maybe next month. Hang on. More cattle grids? What? Where have you guys been getting these cattle grids from? I need to go find myself a salesman to get some cattle grids installed at Wilverley Park because we can't have the animals running around in there. But still, so Rafen, I can't wait to see where this place goes to. It is looking really cool. And I love the strong breeze on that flag. So we've got another cathedral to go look at now. Not over back in Kingsworthy, but in Kingsbrid, where Kazakh has been building his cathedral from, I think, a few months back. But he's done the interior. So let's go take a look at that. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've just woken up in a crypt somewhere with all of these zombie heads around here. They're cool little lamps, aren't they? So we're here in Kingsbridge Cathedral. And I don't think I've stepped inside it yet, but this place is absolutely detailed to the nines there's even bells just hanging from the ceiling to give that a little bit extra detail so we take a little step on back here and you can see the grand organ up there Ooh, that is very tasty very tasty indeed so i know you've been working really hard and getting as much detail in here as you can let's try and go through here maybe and yeah you're really getting a good job going on there the, the cathedral from the outside is absolutely incredible should we fly on out for this window oh there we go we can get out here and you've been upgrading the externals and trying to make it feel a bit more up to date with the server because i think you built it maybe three or four months ago but i love it i love cathedrals i love the way you've put so much detail into the windows into the walls and into every sort of ounce that you can flying buttresses mm, perfect so i think if we go around here oh Yes, hang on, let me change the shaders back over. There we go, so we get a better view of this place. So I have been to Salisbury Cathedral, which feels a bit like this. They have that circular room there. Now in their one, they have the Magna Carta in there, which is the sort of legal document for the 
United Kingdom or something. I don't know. Some old thing. I don't know. Can we get into this place? Um, I, I, I say no. I say no. So let's leave through... Uh, oh. Hello? No. Okay. <laughs> let's not go down small little alleyways like this. Okay, guys. Let's leave through one of these windows and then come back here at some point in the future when Kazakh has built a bit more of this place. But still love it love what you've been doing so far cannot wait to see some more right we've got lance's ship to go show you now the fortuna so let's go take a look at that and that will conclude this part of the server update tour so when i walked over here i just came straight into the water like this and i was like uh, okay i guess he's moved it but no it's there behind me look at this i love a ship and especially an english ship like this it looks really good and oh hello He's, he's up there working away with the debug stick for something or other. Greetings, how how, how how you doing? Okay, he doesn't want to look at me, that's fine. But yeah, lovely little ship going on here. I need to build some myself. Now, if I tell you I have plans to build a paddle steamer, would you laugh at me? Probably. Probably would. Now, Lance has got some stuff in the works. We can probably show you next month. Probably will be the highlight of next month. I can give you that for a fact. But still, welcome to the new server again. Welcome to everything. But guys, thank you all for watching part one of this server update tour. There's been a lot crammed into this one. There's a lot to cram into the next one as well. So I can't, can't wait to show you what everyone's been doing over in Europa and the surrounding territories. So guys, thank you all for watching. And remember, get inspired, get building, and I'll see you next time.